My name is Manon Trevetti. I uh, was a lieutenant commander in the Navy. I served as the battalion surgeon or head doctor for an infantry battalion of Marines uh, in Iraq. Yeah. yeah, you know, coming back was obviously um, a joyous occasion, uh, but also something that we were, weren't sure how we were going to be received. And um, to be honest, I think coming back is different for everybody. Uh, it depends on your support system. It depends on sort of the climate of the country, uh, what was going on at the time. We came back in the early summer of 2003 when the world, if not just the country, was focused on Iraq. And so, um, you know, it was a time where we were sort of received with parades and concerts and parties. Um, and I had a, luckily I had a good support system. My wife uh, was there for me and uh, my family and, uh, you know, every, all my friends wanted to know how I was doing. Though, you know, I tell you what, it was still very difficult because um, so much of the stuff we, uh, so many things we saw in Iraq, so much of what happened in Iraq, we were still trying to process. But with all mental health issues, it's not um, like you break your leg, you're in pain, you know you got to go to the doctor. Uh, when you're suffering from mental health disease, which is very real, um, it's difficult for you to sort of cope with what's going on and, and bring yourself to services, especially when you're a veteran and you're used to sort of sucking it up and dealing with yourself. And then frankly, the problems with traumatic brain injury and PTSD is that it's sporadic and uh, it's sort of masked that you may be more forgetful, more agitated, uh, start drinking more, uh, have marital problems, and not necessarily realize that this is from the traumatic brain injury, from the post-traumatic stress disorder. You know, even when you're getting out of the military fully, um, there is this sort of transition process, there's these classes called TAP or TAMS or in different services, uh, different, uh, they're, they're called different things, but there are transition classes that their intent is to teach you about, you know, life in the civilian sector. But frankly, um, the transition process is fraught with problems. I do believe there should be much more of a welcome back ceremony. Some of the bases try to do it. Some of the military uh, towns do it a little better. But we as a country have forgotten. And it's sad because these guys have risked the ultimate sacrifice in some cases for us. And the least we could do is uh, embrace them more fully when they come back home.